Hi, I'm Jeff DeRiso from Beckman Collaborative, and today I'm going to show you how to create a project in Zoho Projects when a deal is closed in Zoho CRM. We'll also go over how to automate as many of the manual steps as possible using a custom function. This will allow for a smooth transition from your sales team to your operations team, so you can get started quickly on those projects. So let's get into Zoho CRM, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, here we are in Zoho CRM. And I want to start by showing you the native integration between CRM and projects. So we go to setup, marketplace, Zoho and Zoho projects. So we can map our clients, our, whether their accounts or contacts or both in Zoho projects to add them to projects to associate our clients with each project. And we can also add these Zoho projects related lists in these modules, accounts, contacts, and deals. So let's look at how these related lists show up in CRM. So if we go to a, accounts and we go to one of our companies here, you see the related lists on the side and we have one called Zoho Projects. Now the, from here, we can create a project or associate an existing project within Zoho Projects. So if I click this, it essentially brings up the user interface of Zoho Projects to on a pop-up screen to create the project. And when we click Next, it creates that within Zoho Projects and it shows up right here. We can do it for accounts, we can do it for contacts, and we can also do it for deals. So if we go to Deals here, so let's go to this deal. And we see that it's in the negotiation stage. And of course, when the deal is won, that's when we would want to create the project to start working on this deliverable that we're going to provide to our client. So if we click our Zoho projects here, we can also just click the plus icon to directly add a new one. And it brings up that same screen. So we can just create a project. We can use a certain template. We can set the start and end date, add a description. and put it in a specific project group, if that's how you want to do it. Choose our layout from Zoho Projects and click Next. And now we can choose to add a client user to our project. And this is what associates a client to a project in Zoho Projects. So we want to make sure to add this client user. And we instead of contact user, we put them as client user and we click Save. So now we see instantly in this related list, we now have one project. And if we click on this here in this related list, it takes us to Zoho projects, but within the interface of CRM. And it's taken us to our test project. And if we see this icon CRM info here, this tells us that it's associated to this contact, this account, and this deal because we created it through the integration. And it has the start and end date that we set and any other, and it has our name and our description that we set from our deal. So this is how the native integration works between CRM and projects. You can create a project for each closed deal and then it will be there in the deal. So if we go back to the deal and we see our project here, now let's go to the account and that same project will be there as well because we added them as the client user. So this makes it easy to get started on your projects faster. And I would recommend trying it this way for a while, always creating the new projects from this related list, either in your deal or in your account, however you want to do it. And then eventually what you might realize is that there are several steps that you do the same way every time. And that's where you might want to bring in the concept of an automation. So instead of when, the, when our deal is closed, instead of having to come down here and click new project and then type in all of our settings here, what if we just want the project title to be the deal name? and we want the start date to be the closing date of the deal and the description to be our description from the deal. 
or, or something similar to that. So instead of going through all these steps, what we could do instead is create an automation from our deals module that says whenever a deal gets to the close one stage, we automatically create our project in Zoho projects, associate it to the deal and to the clients. And it will show up here without us having to go through the process of clicking new project and typing in all the values. It will just happen automatically. So to create an automation like that, we can, we have actually multiple options. We can create a workflow rule and a custom function. We could also achieve this using Zoho Flow, which is a middleware application. So if you're not familiar with Deluge scripting language, then Zoho Flow might be a good option to get an automation started quickly. But those of us who do have experience with Deluge understand that it's sometimes easier and quicker to create an automation with Deluge scripting language than it is to go through the no-code builder in Zoho Flow. So that's what I'm going to show you here today. So to create that automation, we first go to setup and we need to create a connection between Zoho projects and Zoho CRM. I've talked about this in previous videos. This just authorizes our API calls back and forth between applications. So since we're writing our code in CRM, we need to make a connection with Zoho projects. I've already done that here. Now for this specific video, you need to also make sure that you include the Zoho CRM.modules.all and that will allow us to access that integrated related list, the Zoho projects related list. So I've created this connection and once you create it, you use this connection name here within your function. So now the next thing we want to do is create our workflow rule and attach our function to it. So we go to automation here on the left side, workflow rules, and we create a rule. The module is deals. And we'll call it one deal create project. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because we do have a previous video on workflow rules. We want to trigger it when a deal is edited, a specific field gets modified. The stage is modified to the value closed one. So when the stage is modified to close one, this will trigger our function. And this can be deals matching certain criteria, but for our case, we'll use all deals. And this is where we add our function as the action to our workflow rule. So we click function, configure function, write your own. We'll call it and we click create. So the first thing we need to do is insert our argument, which is our deal ID. And we hit the number sign on the keyboard to bring up our merge fields and select deals, deal ID, and click save. So now I'll copy and paste the function here and we'll go through what it's doing. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we're getting our deal record using the get record by ID integration task from CRM. And then within that, we get our deal name and our account name and our description. And the next thing our function does is it creates our new project with the project name as the deal name, the start date as the current date, the date that the deal closed, and the description of the project is the description field from our deal, which is a multi-line text field. Then we use our create project integration task to create our project. Then we get the ID and the name of that project and store them in these variables. And then the next thing we do is we check our account record from the deal for a field called Z projects client ID. This is a custom field that we created. It's just a single line text field. And what we do is once we create, once we create a project and associate our client to it, there's a, there's a client ID within Zoho projects that is assigned to them. So what we want to do is make sure that we don't keep creating new versions of the same client in Zoho projects. And if this client has already 
has projects associated in Zoho projects that we use that existing client ID from Zoho projects. So that's why we created the field in the accounts module. And so when the function runs, if the client ID is null, we create the client using the account name. So then we use the invoke URL to create a new client user within Zoho projects using our connection CRM projects that I showed you earlier. And then from that new client user, we get the ID and then we store that in the same client ID variable. So if it's null here in our account record, we're creating it and then we're updating the account with that newly created client ID. So that way, next time a deal gets one from that same client, it will already be there in the account. So then once we've gotten our client ID, we associate that client with the new project that we created here. So we do that with this invoke URL task to Zoho projects. And the parameters here are the company ID and that, and we use that client ID number and we say primary client is yes. And then we associate the CRM account ID as well. So after we associate the client to the project, we then associate the project with the deal. And that is what makes it show up in that related list the same way it does when we create it manually. So then we once again use invoke URL and we add that newly created project to the related list in the deal that triggered the function. And of course we have info statements for all of our integration tasks and invoke URL tasks to make sure that things are running properly. Now you can take it a few steps further. Uh, this just creates the project and associates the client and the deal with it. But if you want to, as you use it, you might find out, well, while we're creating this project, we might as well create the task list and some of the tasks automatically, because maybe for example, there are certain tasks that are always associated with a certain type of project. So if you want to do something like that, I'll show you how you could do that. You can, so I copied this additional code here. This will create our task list in Zoho projects and associate it with our Z project ID from the original project that we created in this same function. So this same new project that's created now will get a new task list in it that has the same name, which is the deal name. And then we get the task list ID from that new task list that it was created. So what I've done here is I've created a list called tasks to add, and I've added a couple task names in there. And these will be the tasks that are added by default every time this function runs. So anytime that a deal is one, the project will get created, the task list will get created, and these two default tasks, team kickoff meeting and final review will get created. So we loop through the list and we say for each name in this task name list, we add it to the task list that we just created. And that will happen for each task in this list. So it will happen twice. So once we have that exactly the way we want it, we click save and associate. And the function has now been created and associated with the workflow rule successfully. We click save to save the workflow rule. So now let's go to another deal. And you can see this deal does not currently have any Zoho projects associated with it. So let's see what happens when we mark this deal as close one. Let's refresh the page to see if we've created our project. So now you see when the page has refreshed, we've gotten a Zoho project here and we click on that, it has the deal name as the project name. And if we click through this, it takes us to our 
new newly created project and projects. And if we click on tasks here, we see the task list and the two tasks were also created. And if we click on the CRM info, we see that we have associated the deal and the account. Now, if your customers of your business are individuals and not businesses, you would want to associate it with a contact rather than account the way we've done it here. So if that's what you need, there is a way to do that as well. So if we go to, so if we go back and in this project view, we go to the users tab and in the drop down, we select client users. And that's where we see our client is added as our primary user. And that is, does have this little CRM icon. So if you are integrating this with Zoho Books, for example, this primary client is very important because this allows you to associate all of your billable timesheets in Zoho projects into invoices in Zoho Books. So it is very important for reporting purposes and for invoicing to have this primary client associated with each project. So that's how you create and associate a project in Zoho Projects with a deal in Zoho CRM. So like I said, I would recommend that you do it the manual way for a while and doing it that way will get you to realize that there are certain repetitive steps that could possibly be automated. And then you can apply your knowledge that you've learned of Deluge scripting language to create a custom automation where you essentially encode the logic of your business into the application itself. So that's where the big value add comes in when you can just click a button and know that all the information from your deal has been correctly communicated to your operations team, to the person or people who are actually going to be carrying out the work that needs to be done. So please leave any questions or thoughts you have in the comments and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.